guys? This is Awesome with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Chris today to talk to him about this beautiful truck right here. The F100. You know, it's my favorite truck. I want one of these so bad. Honestly, before we started filming, I, I was just staring at it and I realized I needed to get the camera set up. So, yo, Chris, thank you so much for doing this. Was it a clean truck when you got it? Well, not so much. It, it was a little rough, normal stuff. Bottom of the fenders, doors bedside where water likes to collect. I originally bought the truck for the hood. My dad actually has a four wheel drive version of this that okay. we were redoing. The hood was clean. The truck was actually going to the crusher, this one. But anyway, after getting the truck and looking at it, he talked me into redoing this redoing. one, so yeah. How long have you had the truck for? And like, how long did it take for you to, to fix everything? Well, it's kind of on and off for a while. I would fix a piece and wait a little while, you know, it's money and time. It's probably been a 10, 15 year venture since the wow. beginning. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how long has it been completed for? Less than a year. Really? And Oh, wow. You know, they're never done. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. I get that for sure. And you built this in the this garage? Yeah, here, actually, right? this garage, it was all done here or in the yard, you know, yeah. outside. So that was some of the time constraints is not having a place to actually blow it apart and put it back together. So Yeah, that is, it is super limiting when you don't have a lot of space, but it's, the way it's turned out, man, is incredible. And something you told us off camera, you painted this truck. Yeah. It, Turned out pretty decent, I guess. I have a lot of room for improvement. I think it looks I mean, pretty good. Dude, for, uh, it looks great to me. I didn't even, I thought this went to a professional shop. <laughs> so this is, it looks great. Well, man. thank you. What is the color actually? Is this is the original color of the truck? These are the original colors. It's uh, Skyview blue and Wimbledon white, which was uh, Wimbledon white was a big Ford color for yeah. a long time. So the motor we have in here is it's a dark block 363 boost adder rod, Rillo pistons. Went with uh, some pretty decent parts on this one. This is probably the third or fourth engine that's been in here. Yeah, AFR cylinder heads, and we had those built with pretty heavy spring rates. It's a solid roller motor. Good to 8,000. We have it set a lot lower than that for the street. And I see you got a little power additive over there. What What is the, the yeah. turbo that you're running there? Uh, this is a VS Racing 8896. Okay. It's, it's a really nice unit. Have you always had the turbo on there, or was that did you put that on there with this new motor? This was all kind of packaged together to this new install. It was NA before, it was still fuel injected on a factory ECU. We kind of wanted to do a little more with it, so we went with the Holly for the tunability. What is the, the exhaust that you're running on the car? These are Valley Speed turbo headers. The, there's a guy that he they hand build them themselves. They're Really heavy wall, stainless, should last a good long time. We did a four inch down pipe. I bought a bunch of fittings and cut it up and did it all here to, to make it work. As you know, they don't make a kit for this truck. So yeah. it was all custom built. And we going through a MagnaFlow single muffler to a splitter to two, three inch out the okay. side. So this is a old five speed. It's Tremec 3550. It's been around a while. The clutch, we did a, a McLeod hydraulic throwout bearing. I think it's a spec clutch in there now. And then I see you have the Willwood brake master cylinder. Is it Willwood's yeah. all around or? No, that's just the master cylinder. I left it manual how it was. It's just manual brakes. Okay. Um, we upgraded to the uh, power steering with the Crown Vic front end, nice. but uh, we cut the old cross member out and put the Crown Vic front end. It's really made for this truck, yeah. as most people know now. Yeah, man, I looked under the truck too, and it, I mean, dude, it is clean under here, so I'm, it looks good. You didn't have to do a lot to, to get it to fit under there too. It just kind of, it's like a match made in heaven almost. Really. It really is. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's definitely one of, if I get a truck, I definitely want to do that. So I heard that loud fuel pump when you started up earlier, what kind of fuel system are you running on the car? Fuel system wise is uh, Magna Fuel, except the injectors, those are FIDs. That's a 750, I believe is the model number on the pump. We're running E85. We wanted to make sure we had the capacity for the extra fuel consumption of E85. So the wheels of uh, US Mag Nimitz, they were offered in black and we got with a local distributor and. He contacted the U.S. Mags and asked them if they'd do a custom offset and color pattern. Nice. So um, I wanted the polish with the anthracite centers and a decent little lip on the back. So running 20 by 8s on the front and 20 by 10s in the rear. Okay. The rear we did a four link with QA1 adjustable coilovers. We had an issue with the leaf springs. We wrapped them. What about the rear end of the car? It's a factory nine inch housing with 370 gear ratio. Okay. It, it's actually a factory Ford gear that we got out of a military truck. No way. Yeah. And I see you got a little aluminum tank back there. What is that for exactly? So that's the ice tank for the air to water intercooler. Okay. It, it helps with keeping intake air temps down on 
warmer days and nice. keeps everything under control as far as detonation. Even back there, it, it just looks clean and, and you painting the liner on there with the same color as the truck, it just, it's it, perfect. We wanted to bedline the truck so it would take a little bit of use. Not that we have used it, but we wanted to color match it so everything kind of cohesive. Exactly, yeah, if it's too pretty, you don't want to put anything back there, so. I wanted to keep the factory filler neck, so I wanted the truck to look as original as possible. So we put a fuel cell between the frame rails and the rears, and it's a low sump pump, so it, it's much safer than having it behind the seat. Have you thought about doing any drag and drives with this thing? Through the idea around. We just, yeah. we got a little, little more tweaking to do on the tunes and stuff. And okay. We'll be more comfortable with trips. Heck yeah, man. All right, so let's talk about the interior a little bit. Man, it looks so good. I think it just really makes it pop and just, it really stands out. Who did the interior on the on the so, truck? Uh, we had a local guy redo the seat. He actually took it apart, repainted all the springs, uh, got rid of all the old jute and stuff from the, okay. from the early 70s. And I love the steering wheel, the wooden steering wheel. That is so clean and beautiful. Where did you get that or what made you want to put the wooden steering wheel on there? So I always liked the Shelby cars with the wooden steering wheel from the factory. Of course. And I guess that's just a version of that for yeah. the truck. So the gauges are all Auto Light Sport Comp 2s, similar color pattern to what was the original cluster. They're all manual gauges, so I got a, a mechanical look at all my vitals okay. along with the Holly. And I see you still have the original radio in there. Does that thing work? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, AM radio. We can get talk shows if yeah. you <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. This is so cool, man. I, I love the way this looks and it, I mean, I can't say enough. It's just so clean. So I'm, a, I'm excited to get in here and, uh, and go for a ride. So I say we, we get the cameras in and take it for a cruise. What Sounds you good. Let's All go. All right, let's do it. It's funny too, cause these seats kind of bounce you a little bit, so it adds to the, adds to the fun. Yeah, it's kind of raunchy, man. <laughs> <laughs> give a huge shout out to gum out for sponsoring this video and hooking chris up with a little care package here what they did was they gave chris some gum out regain what this does is it cleans the entire fuel system removes carbon deposits cleans fuel injectors and carburetors and helps maximize fuel economy and improves horsepower so huge shout out to gum out and chris thank you so much for doing this thank man you. i really appreciate it and if you guys want to see more content like this make sure that you like this video subscribe and i'll see you next time Oh,